The desert is a fascinating and extreme place. In summer, there is no rain at all with temperatures above 35 degrees Celsius every day. In winter, the maximum temperature does not drop below 20 degrees Celsius. Only on very few days in the season, it will rain. The desert is dry and hardly gets enough rain to have living things. It's the hottest biome on Earth. Deserts are large, dry areas with hardly any plants or animals. Because the desert is so extreme, the plants and animals need to adapt. Most desert animals are small and have special abilities. Only some animals can survive in this harsh environment. Let me give you a few examples. For example, the camel. The camel has wetted feet so it can walk on the hot sand as well as not sinking into it. The leathery patches on its knees help keep the camel cool when it is on the hot floor. It also has a hump to store fat when supplies are low and it reduces heat trapping in the body. Camels have thick fur to provide warmth in the night and coolness during the day. Camels have two layers of eyelashes to protect against the sand and sun. Camels can also close their nostrils to keep up blowing sand. Their red blood cells are oval and therefore help the camel stay hydrated. But the camel needs to get its energy from somewhere. This is an alcasia. It is a producer. This tree has sharp thorns to keep the camels from overgrazing. It also has deep roots to absorb all the water in the ground. This is an example of how the environmental conditions have affected the alcasia. Furthermore, its leaves are umbrella shaped to get as much sunlight as possible while not getting eaten. Another plant you can find here is the desert squash. Its fruit is eaten by small rodents like the cheese man's gobble. The cheese man's gobble has fur under its feet to keep very quiet. The gerbils keep underground during the day to keep cool and are active at night. Because they hide during the day, they don't lose much water. This is eaten by a large cat called the carcal. This predator eats birds, rodents, but also stray goats. The carcal has long legs and a tail, therefore can run very fast. Cape hares are also hunted by the carcal. The carcal's padded feet allow it to sneak up to its prey instead of using a lot of energy to run towards it. Because of its long legs, it can also jump on its prey. The carcal's big ears help seek out prey like the little bee eater. The little bee eater eats in bees and other insects and hides in small holes in the ground to keep cool. The little bee eater eats crimple spe crimson speckled footmen which have camouflaged wings and feed on helotropian flowers. The mountain gazelle eat also eats alcasia, just like the camel. The mountain gazelle has adapted to eat whatever plants it can find and can live without water, therefore does not need to go far, keeping energy. It has a white underbelly, so when it sits, it does not, not get hot. The mountain gazelle has a short and glossy coat in summer to reflect the sun, but a long waterproof coat in winter. Small mountain gazelles are also eaten by the cockle. These desert animals have all adapted to environment in such a way that they preserve water and energy, or that they can survive the heat and dryness of a desert.